Howdy, howdy. Hope everybody's doing all right. Got a fine day. Fine day indeed. And this job is all right. I am absolutely enjoying myself out here today and yesterday. I am just thrilled to be here. I'm a very lucky man. So we're, uh, they got some X's on the cars. Oh, they got them kind of just lined up. Like I'm gonna plow my way through all that. Let's see, we got, we need another small car. What is this, little Kia? We got cows, we got peacocks. I don't know where it is right now. I should have been recording. First thing this morning, he was standing on that tall dirt pile. I'll probably post it over on, um, over on the Facebook deal. I didn't know it, but I am a peacock whisperer. -er -er. I got it on video, I got proof. It's, um, it's an hour drive out here. We're near, oh, thank goodness. I really thought I crushed it. I remember seeing it, but I couldn't remember if I crushed it, but that's got a Missouri tag on it. I've always liked that, show me. But it's a, it's a, it's a solid hour drive out here. So we, we started an hour early this morning. And we'll probably stay an hour late. I don't know, I'm, I'm going through these cars pretty good. It's, it's moving along. Y'all know Luis, we got, we got a super, Super worker, super dude. Oh. There have been a couple neat things out here, including that stupid Mustang. I shouldn't have said neat. Just, oh, god dang. Boy, it almost hit right there. The chair, that seat landed. Well, it's just been, it's just really enjoying it. There's cows walking around, and every now and then you see the. Is that over there on the hill? Is that what I think it is? I can't tell. Do they got a bison out here? I see a big brown bag. I mean, it's probably just a cow. But I'm on phone. I swear I see a big brown bag. Dang it. What am I looking at? We got a buffalo on cowboy car crushing. Look at that. Hopefully I can get him walking around. Too bad it's overcast too. We, we got dark clouds. We got a buffalo. Dang. Uh-oh. Is he, oh, he's just licking, scratching, eating, whatever. Scratching, whatever he's doing. We got a buffalo. Come on, man, get up and just go talk to a gal, bro. Go get fly with the honeys. Holy moly, we got a buffalo on cowboy car crushing. Got a longhorn down here all the way on the end. <laughs> wow. I gotta go to work, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love my job. I have seen. Y'all remember the video? Uh, it's a short. We got pair. We got people parachuting all day long. I got to watch pe people falling from the sky and parachuting, skydiving. Um, I mean, I, we got a buffalo. We got a freaking buffalo. Wow. I want to hear something really cool. So 
I was stationed at Fort Knox, Kentucky. And that's a huge training base. And at, at the time it was home of the armor, home of tankers, and it was a training base for all, I mean, for all levels of anything to do with armor. And uh, I was assigned to the training battalion, but our job was to be the opposition force. We had mocked up vehicles that looked like Soviet Union or you know, Russian equipment. And uh, we, we wore different uniforms. We, uh, we, we, we actually wore a black beret and uh, it was 10th, U, uh, 10th U.S. Cav, Buffalo Soldiers. 10th U.S. Cav, I was a Buffalo Soldier. And um, there's a, an event for cavalrymen and it's called a spur ride. And they set up all these different challenges. Um, we had a 12 mile road march. We had, uh, I mean, land navigation. We had, we had to call for fire, um, identify, range estimate targets. Um, there was the nuclear biological, so you had to put your gas mask on real fast and proper. Um, you had to uh, uh, develop uh, your camouflage and you had to develop, because uh, you're a cavalry scout, your job is, is to, you're out there looking for, you're hiding and you're looking for, um, your opposition force, your, your enemy, and you're trying to collect data. You know, where are they? How big are they? What do they got? And so you'd have to develop a hide. And that was part, that was, it, it, there was, there was all kinds, it went on for three days. Three days. You had to like, if they walked up to you and they said, make me laugh, you had to tell them a joke or do a dance or, then they had, you had to obstacle course, you had to crawl through the mud. Uh, you had to qualify with your with your weapon. Oh god dang! I was gonna put that that car on top of the Mustang because it's a convertible, a stupid Mustang. But anyway, I was, you know, speaking of Spurs and Mustangs, you know, the Spur is the, is uh, George Washington awarded the cavalry a right to wear Spurs in uniform. They could wear their uniform, their boots, and they could leave their Spurs on. And, you know, and for any like uh, special events, you get up in, you know, you dress up in your nice military uniform, and you'd, you'd have spurs on, and you're, you're, that's in your record. You're allowed to wear these spurs. And this tradition's been going on ever since then. But I was an infantryman assigned to the cavalry, so they, they allowed me to participate too. And at the end of this, you, you get your spurs, and they, they make you do a handstand, they, they turn you upside down, and they pour champagne in your mouth, and, um, uh, Upside down, yeah. And um, two dudes, they'll grab your feet and they'll put their spurs on. And then when you hit the ground, you got your spurs on your on your boots. And my and also there's this book, and I can't. I mean, it went back hundred years, and all all the all the people that were awarded the spurs signed this book. And it's that book, to my knowledge. Is in the Buffalo Soldier Museum. I think it's in, um, I want to say Sierra Vista, Arizona, or I know Fort Huachuca, but I think the community, I don't know if it's on base or if it's just right outside base, but uh, there's that book, and there's my name signature in that book. I think that's really freaking cool. I was a Buffalo Soldier. Yeah, it was really neat. We got to wear berets and uh, we got to attack, you know, to attack and like just, I mean, we trained brand new lieutenants how to be tankers. We trained, um, well, we fought against, if you want to call it that, um, uh, brand new lieutenants. Marines. We, tried, we, we were the opposing force against them. Um, 
like like uh, like higher like advanced training for like sergeant like you want to be sergeant first class leadership training classes like we we were your live action and we use the laser beam system the military has called miles i don't know what is it military integrated laser enhanced or experienced or system Must think it'll be all right. We'll, we'll pick the trash off if I'm gonna put it on top. That ain't no biggie. How, what time are we? How much? How much? 13 minutes, 19 seconds. I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna get a van, and then we'll get to this old, old, big, long van. I'm probably gonna have to do some, poop, some uh, pushing, shoving, poking. Traveling man. Got a hat. Travel. I can't tell if that's a little Mighty Max, little Misa Bitsy, or okay. Yeah, that peacock was standing on top of this pile right here this morning, letting me have it. I don't know if y'all familiar with it, but y'all gotta hear it. They got several videos on YouTube. All right, let's try to get through here. Easy peasy. Sometimes what I like doing with these is just slicing a hole and then going through the body. That way I don't gotta drive like all the way up. It gives me, instead of having to get my, you know, my forks, I get to stay further away from it is what I'm trying to say. I don't have to take a chance with my tires. Tire management is the key to being a good loader operator. The buffalo and the bison are the same animal. Two different names. It's like mountain lion, cougar, same thing. All right, so what we'll do is we'll pop, we'll pop that band that I got on the rack first. And then I can put it on top of this uh, big Dodge van. I, I'm, I'm probably going to have to let go. God dang. Jeez. I, I got to go back to work. Our fun is over. Well, here's something you don't see too often. Blue cars. I tried to put a couple solid blue it was like July one year, and I was crushing for this guy that had like 500, 800 cars lined up. I was trying to put a whole load together, red, white, and blue, as in eight, eight, you know, two stacks of six, you know, two, two stacks of three. Anyway, you know, three stacks of three, of two. Jeez, cowboy. And um, so I, I had so many cars, I just sit there and I get. Wait till I got six white cars. I just put them all on one side. Boom, now I got my two bundles of white. Boom, now I got my two bundles of red. And I waited and waited on blue. So I said, screw it, and I went with green. Green was easy to find. And so I ended up making a load that looked like the Mexican flag, similar with the red, white, and green. Ooh, that's some nasty gas coming up out of there. Now see, I've explained this situation with the with the gas prices and the gas. This there isn't a bunch of guys out here working. It's just a, it's like a a father and son team, and well, they're only going to have so much gas that they can use, right? I mean, you can store it, but gas will spoil on you. So there, you're, we're we're getting gas out of these cars. But now we go to a place. Um, like the last place we crushed out there um, where I was going down the hill and then up the hill and all the cars were on top of the hill. 
um, there was like three or four guys working out there. So you know, between them, they're going, they're going to be, especially living out in the country, everything's. You know, 20 minutes to here, 20 minutes to there, 40 minutes to town. So, yeah, you're not gonna have that much. They're gonna, they need gas. I thought his tractor was down for a second. I seen the hood open and two dudes sticking their heads in. Like, that's the kind of deal if, um, you know, when a car's draining like I typically do, which everyone's like, all I see this dude doing is moving cars around. But I, I try to keep something on the rack. I try to keep moving. I can't help it. And that first boss I had, you didn't get off that loader. You just, it's just like, unless you're walking into the bathroom or you're eating lunch, you don't get off that loader. And it ain't get off the loader, that loader don't stop. And it's just in me that you gotta keep moving, gotta keep changing, doing this, grab something, pick it out, get ready for the next. Be ready, be ready. And, uh, does that have back doors on it? Nope. Cool. But this one is a little, it's too tight to step and fetch and, you know, set it up for your next move, but. It's still training a little bit. You know, let me put a little bit more lean on it. I don't care who you are. What other what other crushing channels got a buffalo? Huh? What other crushing channels got a buffalo? <laughs> How about that? I challenge all other crushing channels to video a buffalo and a van getting crushed. Well, you don't got a car, anything. drive away. There we go. There we go. Drive it home, Louise. Bust it down. Big boy. See what we do with it. And, and then drive back around to the corner and where I pulled this van from and see if I can get some other stuff to squeeze in there. Oh god, I knew, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. We're tied. I know we got all this big huge pasture. We got this big huge pasture. But we were worried about rain. The way we looked at it, if we get if we get rain or something happens, I can get behind the, the crusher here and the boss or the, the driver can just drive out and I can just keep shoving until we get it on the road. But if we get off in here somewhere, he might have to turn around. Um, you know, this is one shot. We're going one shot in, one shot out. That's it. Get this out of the way before I run over it. Oh, that thing, I dropped it. I'll just scoot it out of the way, man. That's all you gotta do. There we go. All right, all right. Let's see this thing. I need to, I'd like to get it from the other side because when I set it on the rack, it'll be either hitting the crusher or. Oh, it's gonna go in the crusher. Let go. 
Hey folks, this thing's got the shag carpet and um, it's the real deal. Easy, there's a Dodge truck behind you. I don't know if it's crushing or not. Still got a motor, so probably not. Somebody took a baby gun and shot that window up. Look at the top already fell off. Which I was, I didn't think so, but I'd probably have to knock it off to get it in the crusher. Probably not, but. Go out here and turn around. Looks pretty clean. They're cleaning up as I'm. They kind of point like, hey, can you work over here? Can you work over there? Yeah, that ended up being a 300. My brain said 280, 300, and I'm like, no, I second guess myself. We got a buffalo on Cowboy Car Crush. I think that's so cool. I wish it was out walking around. I probably got another load and some change out here. And I'll try to make some more videos, maybe. They said he's got three of them. He got one dude and two ladies. No, it's Fierro. I'll see why I had to spin it in case we get, you know, a hater. You see how close it is to the crusher? If I would have spun it the other way, if I would not, I would have not done it, the vein would more than likely be hitting the crusher. Then I'd have to move the rack and all that jazz. All right, so we've got a frame over here that we can squeeze in between this. Now, like I said, let's go back over here, but I ain't gone, gotta watch it all again. Right. You know, folks, we've already, I think I made a video of this a long time ago, but, um, Once again, we got Pepsi versus Coca-Cola challenge. Come on, you don't need all that, all that mud. Oh, they got too much mud in this car. They might have to flip it over. I can't, I can't do it at all. All that dirt. There we go. I'm gonna try to line these up. I better save my time. I'm sure, the, what time is it? Where are we at? 25. There's one. I got a bunch of dirt on my forks. versus Pepsi. I did it. I totally jinxed us. I said the R word and there's it's sprinkling right now. Golly. No, it ain't sprinkling this. Uh, some folks would say it's raining. fall off anyway when I put it in the crusher so if I just go ahead and pick it up take it off I ain't got to worry about making like being halfway on and making a mess yeah folks really had shag carpet green shag carpeter
Can y'all see the can y'all see the chain curtain holders? Hey, Pimp! Hey, what's up? Paula, shot caller. Uh, my calibrated eyeball is telling me it's it's going to fit. Yeah, my dad was an engineer. So seeing how it's starting to rain and it's probably, hopefully it's going to just quit like that. But, uh, so in the military, when it, of course, you know, when it rains, you get mud. So in the military, the, the engine, the, the artillery call mud watery dirt. The engineers call mud super saturated soil. And the infantry calls it home. <laughs> Goodbye, Good Times van. I'm sure you put you I don't no telling what this van has seen. Ben, oh come on man, hit that door and let's get on with it. There you go. versus Pepsi! both lost. Looks kind of like Coca-Cola held together. Now they both held together about the same. I've almost cut sodas out of my life. I'm trying. My kids are real good about it. I got to worry about Cowboy Jr. Somebody got to him with sodas. But like, like my... My daughter, I, you'll, you'll, I, ne I never hear her ask for a soda. She's like, do they got water? It's awesome. It's so awesome. So awesome. I got so lucky. They're good eaters too. Or could it be because I'm such a good cook? Folks, we're running out of time on Cowboy Car Crushing. Thank you for being here. Thank you.